Hey there everyone, Atesh here, back again with another video and in this video we're gonna be building three components for our Spotify music app. The first one is pretty simple, it's a control center, that means the next, play, pause, forward and all of those buttons. And we'll be using the track of the pa package that we have installed, it's gonna be done all by that. Events we are already listening to, so we just have to bring in it and pass the all the information there. The next one we're going to look up forward is going to be the song information. Uh, simply the track and all of that so we'll be bringing up our constant we'll be showing this one is super easy and the third one we are going to be installing this react native community slider which actually has a bug as of now of the recording but i'm pretty sure they'll resolve it soon because the weekly downloads are pretty insane and this is an active project so let's copy this and move back onto our code part there we go and let's install this and uh, there's a lot of thing happening here there we go, community slider, this is what we want to install. And uh, icons we have already installed, I guess. Let's check that. Into package.json. And icons we have, so no worries at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and create these components now. Super easy. We can go into source, new folder. And these ones will be components. All right. So once we have components, let's create fun file one by one. First, let's take down the control center because that's the easy one and we have we can have a couple of discussion over that. So control center dot tsx x because it's a TypeScript component. All right. React functional component. So there we go. This is the basics of it. I'll convert this one actually into arrow function no such special need of it but i would love to there we go so we are importing the react uh, that's all what we need as of now uh, this is not what we need we need actually view from react native so we're gonna go ahead and say hey let's bring in the view and inside the view uh, we'll write something in a minute okay the first most important thing that we need to bring up is this track player now this track player since we are using uh, this is going to be control center so play next forward all of this will be uh, worked on that all right so this is it and we'll be needing some more of this we'll come back onto this in a minute but that's okay okay one by one the first thing oh we forgot to import the icons how we're going to have this previous and next and play and all of this so let's go ahead and say icon and that will be coming up from uh, react native react native vector icons and this is an icon package so there are a lot of packages into it uh, don't use font awesome as of now especially the font awesome 5 pro it might give you a lot of bugs uh, font awesome is okay you can use that i'll be using the material icons in this case but feel free to use anything else if you wish to or you want to save this why it is having icons is declared but its value is never read oh that's okay Okay, now what we're going to do is first and foremost, let's design the functionality part of it. So first and foremost, uh, we're going to use uh, use uh, one of this package. So let me open this up. So if you remember, we have this playback service and inside this all, all events are getting listened. So let's go ahead and have this one and I can import it up here. Playback service, all right. So playback service is here. Let's remove this. Okay. First, all right, is let's design a simply playback state. This is just a variable, and this variable is going to be coming up from use a playback service. So use playback state. There we go. Now, what is this use playback state? Uh, remember, if you remember, these are all the events that we have created. But also, not only that, this use playback is actually given to us by React Native Track Player so that we can keep a track of all the states that are happening. Yes, you guessed it right. This is absolutely a hook which is given to us by this. Everything right, right now in the React and React Native is a hook. So now that this hook is ready for us and we can use this, uh, all we have got to do is just just pass on so let me show you this so first one is a skip to skip to next there we go and this is going to be a sync obviously and further we are going to have an arrow function just like this there we go all we have to do in this one is await for the track player to have a skip to next there we go 
that's all what we have to do so we are going to have the skip to next now this when is being injected on top of any button this will do the magic we don't have to worry all the buffering of the tracks and everything this is all being taken care of uh, for already by the track player let's go ahead and design this was our next button so let's go ahead and write next button and simply we can actually duplicate this this one will be previous previous button come on previous button and we're going to call this one as a skip to previous and this one is simple skip to previous that's all so two things are taken care of it already we can have a skip backward and skip front now the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to have a toggle for the play and pause so let's go ahead and see that how we are going to do that really simple we are going to call this one as a toggle you can design two separate buttons as well but it makes sense to have just one so we're going to say toggle play back and in this toggle playback we are going to first use this async because this takes some time sometimes the song is already in the player buffer and it needs to just play it out so yes it takes time okay now the data that's going to be coming up to this one is playback playback and this will be of type state all right this state will be given to us again by a react native track player okay so now that this is keeping a track of all the state that is coming to it let's go ahead and work like this now it is super simple first and foremost let's get what is the current uh, track so we're going to go ahead and say const current track and this current track my keyboard is too far current track we can go ahead and get it from track player and it can give us the get oops my bad get current track okay now you know what track you are playing so that when at the time of pause and resume you can actually resume this properly now super simple next up is we are going to go ahead and have this current track and if that track is not equals to null that means there should be something then only we are going to proceed further we are going to check what is the current state so if the playback that we are using is actually in the state of state dot you can see buffering connection pause and all of that we'll be using if it is paused or ready we have to keep a track of two or the playback is actually in the state of ready because there might be in a ready state to play the next song in that case we'll be just showing the icon of play so we're going to go ahead and say await track player should perform the action of play in all the other case uh, else we are going to go ahead and say await track player and this should pause okay now all we have to do is attach it onto a pressable or any button and that's it okay so this is the functionality part let me repeat this part again because this is a little bit we did it in a little bit hurry so let me just explain this so what we are doing is we are keeping a function we are calling it as toggle playback that's super easy now in this we cannot directly go ahead and just pause and play like that this needs to be done by the track player now apart from track player the package actually gives you a playback which is actually a state of what is happening to the music currently we brought it in uh, use playback we use that hook already and we are bringing this state from it now once i get the access to this state first i need to get the current track because i need to play and pause that particular track once i have access to this track i'm checking that whether this track is not equals to null otherwise if there is nothing what should i play it will obviously crash my application so i'm checking whether the state is in pause mode or the state is in the ready mode in both the case i need to show the play button or i can say i need to perform an action of the play again i forgot here a small thing so it needs to be play and it needs to be a pause like that and in all other case we should actually pause the current track so that's all we will be doing now in the return statement let's go ahead i'll provide you the the css files we won't be for, uh, working too much on that uh, let me just first give you the css file let me just pause the video and grab the css files all right so brought in this uh, style sheet up here and we need to bring this style sheet from react native 
So view is here and we need to grab the style sheet as well. All right, should be all happy. There we go. Now let's go ahead and work on with this. This is super, super easy. All we got to do is get a view, provide some styling to this one. The basic styling style.container, nothing much. There we go. Now let's go ahead and have a pressable. This is pressable and we are going to go ahead and close this like this. Get an on press event onto this one. Yep, there we go. And this one is going to be skip to next or skip to previous. Yeah, skip to previous. First, we'll have skip to previous. That's the left side. And inside this, we'll have an icon. So let's go ahead and grab an icon just like this. What icon we'll be using? First, let's provide a style that we have written already for this one. So styles dot icon. And the icon name is going to be skip previous. Skip dash previous. Size is going to be around 40 because that's when we were testing the app. This is what we used. Okay, uh, 40. So that is okay. So this is our button for uh, going back. And we need two more buttons. Uh, one for the play and one for uh, the next. So we'll just copy it two times. The last one is actually super easy, so we'll first take it down. This one is going to be skip to next. And this one is going to be skip next. Super easy. So this one is already taken care. This pressable is where the icon is going to come up. So this one is going to say toggle. So we'll say simply toggle playback. And that's the major portion of it. Now that's remaining is the fancy part of all of this. Okay. So... This actually needs to go not like this, actually. We're going to go ahead and uh, we need to provide the playback state as well. All right. So we'll go like this and we'll say that, hey, uh, this toggle playback, you actually get the state of it. So playback state. There we go. This should be happy now. Now let's go ahead and work on with the styling of it. So one line each, much better now. Icon, the name is going to be not this. Based on the playback state, I want to provide the icon. So I'll just remove this. And I'll inject my JavaScript code here. I'll say whatever is the playback state is, if it is true, uh, whatever the playback state is, based on that, I'll just say state dot playing. If this is the state, provide one icon. Otherwise, provide other icon. Okay, so playback state is if it is equals to playing, I want to provide a play uh, pause icon. So, and if it is not, then I want to allow the user to play it. All right. So this is all what we got, and I think this is play dash arrow. Okay, so quite a lot and uh, looking okay. We need to definitely test our code now because there's a lot going on. We'll just change it to a little bit like 75. Okay, so this is it we'll be doing in this video. I think I need to grab a tea or something. I'm feeling a little bit sleepy or something. Uh, so this is all what we'll be doing. And why is it still having a problem? I'm using the icon. Yep, I'm using the icon. So let's save this and hit a reload. There we go. Now it's, it should be all happy. I'll see this. I'll check this up. I'm feeling a little bit lazy. So let me grab some uh, tea, iced tea, of course, and we're going to catch up in the next video.